How's it going, guys? I'm going to be How's opening this lovely box we have here. Now, I have not opened one of these yet. I haven't bought actual magic cards since early of 2022. So, it's pretty exciting. Um, one thing I want to say that I noticed is they changed the box to having 12 of the set booster packs in them instead of 8. And I don't think it has the dice in there, which is kind of a bummer because I like the dice. I like collecting those. Um, this was $90. I remember these boxes being like $45, $46, $47. Um, I know a couple of sets have had them like $89, like uh, Time Spiral Remastered and uh, Boulder's Gate. But this one is $90 for this bundle. So hopefully we get something good. open it here real quick Let's see I want to hopefully these actually have a poster on them because the last one I bought one of these the time I bought one of these they the, they got rid of the posters that are on the back which it looks like they did because these used to open up and the back side would have posters um, I have a bunch of them around my room you had a cool little uh, artwork like flyer type thing Pretty cool. Then over there. Where's the box? The uh, artwork work, uh, is really good. I really like the artwork for this. It's fantastic. Looks nice. Okay, I'm going to put this behind me. Alright, the dividers. They look pretty nice. And the little tokens. Not going to mess with those, though. I'm going to go through this, and then we got our foil land pack, which I guess I'll open that later. And we got our, like, premium card, which is cool because it's all in Pyrexian language. I don't even know what card this is because I'm not familiar with all the cards in the set, so... I'll have to look that up later. Um, if you're wondering why there's a weird mess up with my image box, because I have the hands off, so they're not in the way. If you see them pop up there and then pop off, that's me having them on and then off. So I just had those out of the way because they get in the way with this. So I want as much screen as possible. If there is no dice, sadly, that sucks. The dice are always nice. But yeah, we get a special pack. I forgot what they call these. I'll open that last. Put it over there. And we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of these packs open. So let's see what we can get here. Hopefully we get something good. So open the first one. Sometimes these packs don't like to open, but this one opened fine. If you notice, I have the, the Goldfish website opened up, so I can kind of look up the prices of the cards. I'm not going to look up every single one. We're just going to look up the rares and mythic rares. Okay, we got a Rebel 2-2 token creature. That there. I, I can't remember how these packs go. Hopefully it's not... Okay, I'm going to say hopefully they don't have the best card at the front. And the Art Series cards. These are pretty cool. I'm just going to put them in my token pile. Nice uh, artwork for a land. I like that. It's pretty good. I'll have to put that in my Vorinclex deck. Got Blazing Crescendo. I'm not going to read the the regulars. Just the names. Cold Off Cracker. Uh, Forge Hammer Centurion. Adaptive Spore Singer. Uh, Slivok Battle Char. Chair. Sorry. Uh, that's uh, uncommon. I just wanted to see if it was good or not. Uh, Hex Gold Hover Wings, uh, Hex Gold Halberd. Let's see, I gotta see if I can get closer for you guys because I'm not getting a good view here. Um, actually, gonna get this way. Okay, then we got Rust Vine Cultivator. Nice, that's actually interesting art style. 
We get Evolved Spinoderm. Four drop Pyrexian Beast. Evolved Spinoderm enters the battlefield with four oil counters on it. Evolved Spinoderm has trample as long as it has two or fewer oil counters on it. Otherwise, it has hex proof. And at the beginning of your upkeep, remove an oil counter from Evolved Spinoderm. Then, if it has no oil counters on it, you sacrifice it. Not bad. We'll put the rares in the pile here. I got Graz Unstoppable Juggernaut. Um, this is the one that makes all Juggernauts you control attack each combat if able. Juggernauts you control can't be blocked by walls. Other creatures you control have base power and toughness 5-3 and are Juggernauts in addition to their other creature types. And then we got a foil. Iker Spit Basilisk. Move my mic a little bit closer so you guys can hear me better. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what else we got here. If I can get it out of the pack. Okay, junk card. I'm just gonna put that over there. I call them junk cards because nothing. Them. I gotta get out of the. I'm actually. I'm gonna turn this off. Hold on. Excuse my finger for a second. All right, there we go. So it doesn't have no glare on the cards. All right. Well, that looks pretty nice. Very nice art card. Nice art style for a uh, swamp. Looks pretty nice. Uh, Volshock Splitter. Leonin Lightbringer. Marin Bardish. <laughs> Barbed Batterfist. Against all odds. Oh, man. And new cards are such a pain in the butt. They like to slide around. Uh, Shieldred's Edict. Uh, minor Misstep. A one drop counter spell with mana value one or less. Okay. Sinew Dancer. Uh, Bone Picker Scourge. And I got another one of the Grazes. And a foil land. So that pack was kind of lame. That was a pretty bad pack. Let's get on to the next one. <clears throat> oh, come on. It split bad here. Let's see. I was not going to open this on camera, but I figured maybe I can attract some people to this. If not, it's all right. I'll keep the video on my VOD, so... If any of the people that follow me that like magic or that like the magic page and they see this, they can check it out at least. Got a, I might just read the um, rares and whatever else I get. Special stuff. So I can get through these faster. Land. I still got to look up the prices. I don't want this stream to be too long because I want to stream an actual gameplay after this. Okay, we got the Monumental Facade. Land Spear. The Monumental Facade enters the battlefield with two oil counters on it. Tap it for a colorless. Remove an oil counter from the Monumental Facade. Put an oil counter on target artifact or creature you control. Activate only as a sorcery. And a foil Charforger. So far, no big hits. Hoping to see some of the toxic creatures, especially that one drop green one. I think that one's like a $60 card. Wouldn't mind seeing um, the new rats either, because I could use those, especially the, uh, the king, the rat that makes all rats have toxic. That would be nice to get. There's the art card. Land. Okay. Let's hope for something good. Ooh, we got a Shrelve. Defector Mite. Nice. Nice. I think we're going to go over the prices, but I think he's 20 bucks. That one's a good one. I like using that one on Arena because the fact that you can pay two life or a planes and uh, let's, let's just read the whole thing. He's a 1-1 legendary artifact creature, one drop. 
It has Toxic 1, so when he does damage to an opponent, they get a Poison Counter. And if everybody doesn't know what that is, which if you play Magic, you should know what it is. I gotta get my hand over here, sorry. Um, poison Counters, you get to 10 counters on a player, you lose. Um, he can't block, and then like I said, you can pay a Planes or 2 Life, tap him, choose a color, another target creature you control gains Toxic 1, and Hexproof from that color until end of turn. It can't be blocked by creatures of that color this turn. So it's, it's quite nice because you can make your creature unblockable from a color that you pick, and you can um, make it Hexproof from, you can pretty much counter a spell. And we got Geth Thane of Contracts. Other creatures you control get negative one, negative one. Uh, for three, tap, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains if this creature would ha leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Activate only as a sorcery. And then we got a three drop Vigilant Soldier. Okay, well, at least we got Shrelve. We got one of those. So that's good. That's good. Oh man, this pack's so dumb. It went all the way up the thing. Now I gotta I gotta use my knife to open it, so I gotta be careful. Alright. Trying to hurry here. Just I don't I like to be careful when I'm opening these so I don't damage any of the cards. So I still have to go through my commander decks. I did a video on one of them, but I never went back to doing it because I figured I'd wait until I get a follower base going. A little bit more people that stay tuned for my videos and stuff. Here's the art card. Here's the land. A little bit of shine over here. Let's just hold them over here. See where I got to look at my camera, see where my hand's at. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I'm going too fast, sorry. I don't know, it's hard to, it's probably impossible to read these. I just don't feel like reading everything, just the rares and stuff. So we got Serum Sovereign. Uh, it's a 4-4-5 drop flyer. Um, when you cast a non-creature spell, put an oil counter on Serum Sovereign. For a blue, remove an oil counter from Serum Sovereign. Draw a card, then scry two. Not bad. Then we got... Slow bad iron goblin, the three drop goblin artificer. He's a legendary creature. Three three. Uh, tap. You sacrifice an artifact. Add an amount of mountains equal to the sacrifice artifact mana value. Spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. Not bad. Not bad. And we got this for our foil, and then a junk card. Not doing too good. Not doing good, too good at all. A $90 box. So I'm hoping we at least get one. I mean, that shelf wasn't a bad card, but I'm hoping I get one of the bigger pulls. So at least get my money's worth. So I, I did stop buying Magic cards just because of the fact that they're so expensive. But I just, I like the set, so I wanted to get at least one box. There's the art card. Planes. Ooh, we got one of the mythic rares. Actually, gonna, I think I'm going to stand up for this because this chair is kind of getting to be a pain in the butt. Might not knock nothing over. All right. Got to have a ghetto set up for my camera here. All right, so we got Sulfin Mayhem Dominus. Uh, if a source you control would deal co non-combat damage to an opponent or permanent an opponent controls, it deals double that damage to that player or permanent instead. So it works like that dwarf. Uh, for three, either two life or two reds and a generic, you can discard two cards, put an indestructible counter... On Sulfim. Sorry, I was trying to fix my mic here. Let me check my sound. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my mic here. I'm going to make sure it catches me. 
Have it facing up towards me. Okay. All right, next pack. So how's everybody doing tonight? Saturday night, weekend. Everybody having a good weekend so far? I'm having a good weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to go to Best Buy. Closest Best Buy is about an hour away. I'm going to get a capture card, I think, for like 200 bucks, but... So that way I can do a better uh, capture with my uh, consoles and stuff, and I can actually use my Nintendo to get some uh, streaming. Here's the art card. Land. Anything good? Okay, we got Dragon Wing Glider, five drop artifact equipment for more Mirrodin. When this equipment enters the battlefield, create a 2 2 red rebel creature token, then attack, no, attach this to it. Um, equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has flying and haste and has a equipped cost of five. That's a bit much for me. I don't know about that. Oh, nice. Oh, this is a. Nice art right here, foil. Look at that. Pretty. Uh, Jor Kadeen, first gold warden. A two drop, two two. Legendary creature, human rebel. Trample. Whenever Jor Kadeen, first goldeen, gold warden, attacks, it gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of equipped creatures you control. Then if Jor Kadeen's power is four or greater, draw a card. Not bad. Not bad. I need to get my sleeves out. I got some extra sleeves, but they're in my closet. I gotta dig them out. I don't want to do it right now. So they'll be safe. They'll be safe. There's the art card. Quite nice. Quite nice. Right. Mountain. Okay. Got Copper Line Gorge, a multi land that enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. It's always nice getting these lands. I'll have to use this in my uh, red green. Um, werewolf deck. I got a Planeswalker. I got Kaya. Entangible Slayer. Holy crap, she is a 7 drop. Wow. She starts off at 6. She has Hexproof. Um, plus 2, each opponent loses 3 life and you gain 3 life. For 0, you draw 2 cards, then each opponent may scry 1. Negative 3, exile target creature or enchantment. If it wasn't an aura, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 1-1 white spirit creature with flying in addition to its other types. Eh. I think it's a bit high cost for that. Nice artwork on that. Ooh, we got a, um, what are those called? The, uh, secret layer sets. Balden Century Herdmaster, six drop, zero seven. Human War Legendary Creature. As long as it is your turn, each creature assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Whenever Balden Century Headmaster attacks, up to 100 target creatures each get plus zero plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Holy crap. That's. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, we're 20 minutes in. Let's uh, test the chat and make sure it's working. All right. So who else likes this set? I think it's a pretty interesting set. I haven't had no luck playing on Magic Arena with it though so far. I would just 
Keep freaking losing. Token. Nice art card. Oh, rat, a toxic one. Okay, we got Kalith, Crucible, Goliath. Legendary creature, Pyrexian Beast, 4-4. Four, four. It's a black, red, four drop. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-legendary card with lesser mana value. Put it onto the battlefield, then put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And that, that pack sucked. We have just three packs left, guys. Three packs. Looks like it's going to be a bust, but we still have a chance. There's still a chance out there. I'd like to get that single drop green. Got a mite token. Put it over there. Nice art card. Nice. This land looks pretty cool. That's a nice freaking land, man. Look at that artwork. It's foil. Oh, that's nice. Put that in one of my decks. Nice. Oh, we got another Planeswalker. Cough, Fire of Resistance, a four drop. Uh, he starts off at four. Plus two, search your library for a basic mountain card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Negative three, Cough, Fire of Resistance, deals damage to target creature equal to the number of mountains you control. Negative seven, you get an emblem with whenever a mountain enters the battlefield under your control. This emblem deals four damage to any target. Not bad, not bad. And this piece of crap. Oh. Look, I wasted 90 bucks, guys. That's what happens, though. It's better off just buying singles, but when singles become like $60, I mean, if you haven't bought at least one bundle or something, I guess it's worth a shot at least once before you buy singles, but that's depending if you want to spend the extra money because you might not get what you want. Nice art card. Nice art card. Nice. We got another one of these lands, but it's not foil. Still nice, though. All right. Come on, baby. Let's get a good card. Let's get a good card. Oh. There's a nice one. Move that over there, because it's worthless. All right. We got Elish Norn, Mother of Machines, a five drop planes. Four seven, Vigilance. If a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers additional time. Permanents entering the battlefield don't cause abilities of permanents your opponents control to trigger. Mm hmm. She's a pretty one. Let me see something with my camera real quick. Something looks weird. All right, looks fine now. Well, I don't know how much she's worth. We're going to find out. We're going to see if the rares and mythics that I get are at least getting my money's worth. But what it looks like, no. Not at all. Last pack, guys. Besides the special pack. I don't know what's in that. So, I really wish I would have got a dice. Ooh, nice art card. Oh, yeah. All right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Ooh. X Hell Skyan of Atraxa. It's a white, black, green, two, five, four drop Pyrexian Angel. Flying Vigilance Toxic 2. Corrupted. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent who has three or more poison counters exiles the top card of their library face down. You may look at 
and play those cards for as long as they remain exiled, and you may spend mana as though if were mana of any color to cast those spells. Nice. So, this card isn't even on Magic Arena. And if it is, I don't remember seeing it. Because this is a different set. It's a special set. What is, what is that? That's why it's not in there. Because I was like, oh, I could make a Toxic Brawl deck on Arena if they had a white, black, green Toxic creature that works with poison counters, but they don't. But here it is, right here. Right here. I like that, too. And we got Norn's Wellspring. Whenever a creature you control dies, scry one and put an oil counter on no Norn's Wellspring. For one tap, remove two oil counters from Norn's Wellspring. Draw a card. Apostle of Invasion. All right, we got the special pack left, and then we're going to look up the price of these cards. I wish someone would join, man. Talk about magic while I'm opening this stuff, and remember we'll also end the video. No one joined. Sad. No discoverability on this app, I swear. Get one new follower every like three days. It's BS. This pack is like bulletproof here. Let me uh use my knife. I don't know what's in this pack. I hope it's uh something good. Ooh, what is that? Is this an art card? What the hell are these? Are these lands? Are these actual lands you can use? Wow, these are freaking cool. These are cool. Oh man, I'm gonna put these in my freaking. These are awesome. Those are freaking awesome. Okay, we got Capricious Hellraiser. A six drop red Pyrexian Dragon 4-4. Four, four. This spell casts three less to cast if you have nine or more cards in your graveyard flying. When he enters the battlefield, exile three cards at random from your graveyard. Choose a non-creature, non-land card from among them and copy it. You may cast a copy without paying its mana cost. Well, that's pretty cool. And we got Ikor Moon Gauntlet, three drop artifact. Planeswalkers you control have zero proliferate and negative 12 take an extra turn after this one. Holy crap! Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, choose a counter on target permanent. Put an additional counter on of yeah, put an additional counter of that kind on that permanent. What? The fuck? Is this this is not an arena? This can't be. I feel like that one's valuable. I have a feeling. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Anybody anybody know? We're about to find out here. We're about to find out. All right, we're going to look up that card first. See if we can find it. I'm typing with one hand, so... No, it's not... I don't want it up here. No. Uh, C H O R M O O N. Icker Moon Gauntlet. <clears throat> well, this is freaking dumb. Let me get to the Pyrexia. Wherever it may be. Oh. That's what it's, it's the, so that card is from the commander sets. That's why it's not in the goddamn game. You, God, let's see. Ooh, yeah, it's the oil slick foil. Oil slick foil. Holy son bitch. 
You guys see that? All right, let me let me uh since we're going to do prices now. Let's uh let's let's change this here. Yeah, there we go. That'll be better for you guys to see. Um let me turn off my camera real quick so I can get this out of the way. Okay. All right. So this is a $45 card. I knew it was going to be freaking crazy. Like, holy crap, man. Look at that. That is crazy. A $45 pull, guys. I mean, that's already worth half the box. Half the box. Crazy. Crazy. I have to send that to my friend. That's nuts. Wow. All right. Yeah. Um. I got to be careful with this card. I'm gonna have to get that in a uh, sleeve. All right. Now the next card we have is Capricious Hellraiser. Let's see. Let's put that in up here. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Wow. All right. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. Let's, let's see. Let's spell it out. C-A-P. I'm doing this one-handed because of how my camera's set up. I don't have a lot of room to move around here. Okay, wait a minute. Hellraiser. Um, it's oil slick foil. Oh! Well, that's a $15 card. $15, guy. $15, guys. It's crazy. Wow. So we're already up at $61 for a $90 box. So, I mean, we're getting close. We probably got our money's worth, honestly. Honestly. Let, let me just see. Um, Can you look up the planes? Planes... Oil slick. Let's see if it'll come up. Mm, doesn't look like it's going to come up, guys. I just wanted to see if these, because these are like special lands. These might be worth, you know, they should be worth more than a regular um, land. Nah, they're not going to come up. So a basic land is worth five cents, is what they say. So, and foil lands, not much more. Like, what? I mean, the most 25 cents for a foil land, probably, that are basic. Special lands. You might be looking at, like... Well, special lands are different. I mean, I've seen people selling, like, 36 of a certain land from, like, Thanos or whatever. Not Thanos. Uh, Theros. <laughs> and Thanos. And uh, they want, like, for 36, just regular non-foil, like, $40 for lands. So, I mean... These lands, there's 10 of them, two of each one. Uh, these are pretty cool. They're oil slick foil. I mean, I would imagine these are probably like 20 bucks. This is a rough estimate. I don't know for sure. So, all right, let's uh, look up these other ones. We're getting behind here. Norns Well Spring. I think I spelled it right. Norns Wellspring. Yep. Oh boy. Wow. I'm gonna have to show my buddy those cards because those are freaking nuts. I knew the one was gonna be just freaking crazy. Oh, you stupid frick. Hold on, let's go uh let's get back to this page. Okay. Norn. Oh, let's make sure we put these in because maybe Okay, there it is. It's just a regular Ah, 48 cents 48 cents, okay 48 cents, so let me get a calculator I didn't even want to do it Uh, 
Okay, so we had a 45.99 plus a 15 dollar plus a what was that? That was uh 48 cents. We're at 61.47, guys. 61.47 so far. All right, let's close that out and get to the next card. All right, this is. I like this card. I would make a commander around this if I had, you know, more to it. Okay, a dollar forty-six plus one forty-six. All right. Not worth that much, but I still like that card. It's a nice card. Okay, Elish Norn. This one's probably going to be worth something. Oh. Mother of the Machines. It's just the regular one. Oh, biggity boy, guys. Oh, biggity boy. If you're going by card, I just go by this. I go by this value right here because this is the average. So, I mean, you could go by the highest number, but I just always go by this number. So, whatever it says here. All right, 4164 plus 4164. We're at $104.57 and the box costed 90 bucks. So, we're already in we're already at least got our money's worth. All right. All right, now we got cough. Fire of, oh, it's not going to come up, of re, my, my freaking keyboard's unbalanced and where it is, resistance. Yeah, of course, he's not going to come up. Hold on. Let me, let me go back and just type in cough and see if he comes up. Cough. Fire of resistance. He's just a regular, he's worth 80 cents, not worth anything. Plus 80. All right. To the next card. Crucible Goliath. Just a regular one. See how much this guy is. 35 cents. Okay. Okay. Okay, Balden. He's worth a dollar. One dollar. I know I could just type in one, but it's... Make sure it types in right. Kaya. Entangle Slate. It's the regular one. She's seventy-four cents. Like I said, I don't think she was going to be that that great. Okay, now these lands are usually worth like ten bucks or more. So let's see, copper line gorge, and this is the um, borderless. Oh, not worth that much anymore. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of the uh, other kinds. The other ones that come in, like you can pay life or whatever. I think those ones are the ones that are worth the most. Yep, we're just going through the rares and mythics. Getting the values. Seeing how I did. York Dean first gold warden, and this is a foil, foil borderless step and complete, step and complete. What the? Let me see if this is the right one. That looks like that's the right one. All right, they don't really have a overall price, so we'll just go by the eBay eBay one. Um, yeah, I'll just. Yeah, I'll just do the eBay one. But let me just go back real quick and um, let me check the other one. 
this one. Okay, yeah, we'll just go by this price. Okay, 50 cents, 50 cents. Okay. Dragon Wing Glider equipment. Just a regular 25 cents. All right. Like I said, I don't know what these these special lands are worth right here. Um, oh, you can't I don't have the camera up no more. Sorry. Okay, so we got Sulfin Mayhem Dominus. Sulfin. Oh, Mayhem Dominus, and it's just the regular one. Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. All right. Plus seven ninety nine. Oh yeah, we're doing we're doing good. I mean, this was a decent box. When, when I seen that one that said the planeswalkers get the freaking uh, negative twelve and crazy, I had to reread it before this video is over because that was nuts. I can't believe I got that. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Slow. Bad. Iron. Goblin. Just the regular one. 39 cents, 39 cents. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know, let me know. Send a message. All right, we got Serum. Sovereign. Um, Okay, this came up on Card Kingdom. No, I don't want that. It's 35 cents. Why did it not come up on here? I don't know. We're just going to put 35 cents in. I'm not going to relook that up. All right, now we got Geth. Geth, Thane of Contracts. The regular. No, wait, no, that's a foil. Boy. Oh, 36 cents. Lovely. Good. 120 13. With this bundle box, guys. Now, I know Shrelv is, is a little bit up there, so let's let's see. Shrelv. Oh, I forgot the R. Shrelv. gonna come up <sighs> not gonna find this one is it make sure I got oh it's a K scrap oh yeah fuck there we go. I wonder why I wasn't finding it. And he's just a regular boy. Seven eighty-five. All right, he's not as worth as much as I thought he was. He's still a good card, though. One of the ones I wanted. So we're good. Seven eighty-five. All right. The monument. Okay. The mon. Decade. There we go. RXL, 39 cents. All right. This next one, we got two of them. The Graz. Oh, it's two, two A's. Graz. Stoppable juggernaut. We got two. None of them are foil, just regulars. They're 44 cents each, so 88 cents. Plus. Okay, we got... Uh, one more rare to look up, and then I'm not going through all the other cards. I'm just doing the rares, mythic rares, special cards. Well, those ones. Evolved. Spinoderm. Foil. Is he foil? Nope. He is the borderless. Showcase. 
Yep, that one. Ah, uh, 37 cents. All right. All right, so... And like I said, these special lands... I am just going to estimate there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 of them. I'm going to say these because these are oil slit. I mean, these got to be worth like, we'll just put 15 bucks, 15 bucks. So plus $15. So, I mean, we did pretty well. The box was $90 after tax, probably like 93, 94. So, I mean, we made uh, 50 bucks, 50 bucks off the box. That's not bad, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, I'm going to keep all the cards, not going to sell them. I mean, I don't know. I don't really have any blue decks, so I'm, I am I could sell that blue card. But, uh, I mean, that's really good because it has Planeswalkers you control have proliferate. proliferate. Let's bring this back over to regular screens here put that on here's the card we'll go to the intermission page so it can be closer up yeah that bad boy forty six dollars forty six dollars fuck yeah nice I'll put that in my binder yeah so these are uh nice 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 cards and I got Ella Schnorn. She was forty dollars. Fuck. So we did pretty good, guys. We did pretty good. Um, that's gonna be it for this uh, stream. I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, hopefully we bring more videos like that. Um, I'm gonna upload this to my YouTube, and um, that's gonna be on my VOD for my twitch for a week until they take it down so hopefully some people see this and they follow me and they like this um plenty more magic gathering stuff to do in the future so um thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next stream Bye bye